Okay. You got the monkey pests, and you got the administrator's house left on the mission's handout. Oh, wait. Do we have a chance to get more monkeys? Mad monkeys. Yeah. Sounds like we're doing the monkeys. monkeys for me to throw. Mm -hmm. I need a bag. Release the monkeys. <laughs> so it's about noon. It's just after noon now. Do you want to wait until dark for the monkeys? Ooh, yeah, probably. That's what I thought we were going to do. I thought we were going to go to the administrator's house. Uh, well, I just thought we were going to do the monkeys tonight. Yeah. Um, so, so I'm thinking maybe the administrator's house now and then do the monkeys. Sounds good to me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So administrator's house. That's another one without a map. Okay. Uh, Gert. Good, cause, cause care, camera ship two is having some serious issues, ca keeping up for okay. some reason. Yep. All right. Administrator ah. Madelon's private residence. What was that? My mom just showed up with deliveries, scared Bruce, and he jumped right on my crotch. <laughs> give, give, give me one. Uh. Keep keep going. Give me one second. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Madelon's private residence consists of two connected prefabs. There's a separate entrance to each module. One of the entrances is painted with an elaborate cityscape in gold. With the words all are above the words, all are welcome before the master of the first vault. While the other has a small sign reading private business. Each entrance has a keypad. The building is well maintained, but its lights are out and carries a general air of abandonment. Okay. Do I, do I, can I make a perception check to hear inside and hear if there's anyone inside? Uh, yes. That's not great, but it's not terrible. You hear nobody. Okay. Can Conti smell if anyone's been here recently? Uh, you can give me another perception. Sure. Ooh, look at that. I know. I am. My sniffer is pretty good. Yeah, it doesn't seem like anyone's been around. You smell the Lazlanti have been outside, passing by outside on their patrol routes. It doesn't look like anyone's going inside in a while. So we want to start with the public sanctuary or the private residence side. Yeah, I vote private. Yep, yep, fine by me. Arachio has no help with uh, electronic locks, though, so all he can do is just sort of stand there. Yep. Well, you have the passcode for my Breta. Oh, there we go. However, you the screen to punch it in is currently dark. Yeah, you start punching numbers and nothing on the keypad and nothing happens. No lights, no number, no beeps, nothing. Mm. So engineering there. I can aid engineering. Would you like an aid? Go for it. Uh, it... Awesome. And as a matter of fact, that's going to be a plus three instead of a plus two. A tactical advisor. So if nice. I get over a twenty, uh, you get a plus three. All right. Uh, engineering twenty-three manages to find where the Islanti have cut the power and restore it. And then the keypad comes to life. So then that requires computers? Well, you've got the key. No, you've got the code. Uh, the code, oh, as you I do mentioned. have the code. Okay. Yeah, you just didn't have... It just wasn't working to punch it in before. Yeah, gotcha. All right, I say put in the code. Let's go. Indeed. Yep, the door slides open. And who's going in? Air first. Iraqi will lead the way. Okay. 
Uh, uh, perception check for traps. Yeah. There are no traps here. Yep, there are no traps here. Perfectly safe. I'd send my mother in first. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. Okay. You head on in. And... Reflex save. Oh, who could have guessed? <laughs> Nineteen. Hey, that ain't bad. Oh, where am I typing? Yeah, you save. So the trap does three damage to you, three sonic damage to you. Is it boom? loud? Loud noise cracks through. Oh, through the through the unit. Oh, that's not good. Mm-hmm. Does it do anything bad to my hearing? Is it really, really bad? Uh, your ears are ringing pretty bad right now. Okay, copy. We should close and lock that door behind us. Probably <laughs> accurate. At least I can still smell, just only at 30 feet instead of 60. Yeah, so do you go in and close the door? That's my plan. All, All right. right. Okay, you can make a perception check to search the place. That's all to do that. Yep. Could somebody roll me a perception at plus six? You want to get that, Val? Sure. Okay. Well, at least I rolled well. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. Chang, you only got a seven. <laughs> so ain't that one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't want me rolling. All right, <laughs> I'm, I'm back in front of my computer again. All right. Uh, you broke into the module. You got into the module, triggered a trap, and are now searching the place. Awesome. I found the trap. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that sounds like you need a perception check from me. Yep. Uh, that's a 16. Yep. Uh -huh. Okay. What you find, you get some paperwork. Well, a report from of a mining accident in Blue Tin Range that uh, Goria, the Lashinta woman from earlier, would be most grateful to know. As, as her uh, kin were injured but expected to make a full recovery. Cool. Uh, uh, also, uh, Conti sniffs out a hidden compartment in the uh, altar of Abadar with a data pad inside. Ooh. Hidden Who data pad. Computers? Those have something neat to pull. Yep. And, yep. One of your computer guys, Bishop, hacks it, e hacks it easily. He used Avatar 1 as his password. <laughs> Typical. Mm-hmm. Yep, it contains a video of Administrator Madelon having a talk with Sedona about her explorations of the old Aslanti ship that was found after the probe crashed. Several still images of the relics she found in the engine room. <clears throat> yep. And it's interesting stuff. Cool, cool. Uh, one right. sec. So basically, we now know a little bit more about what wrecked. Like, that's what we can get off this data pad? <laughs> yes. Okay, copy. All right. Uh, however, as you are leaving the module and headed wherever you're headed next, stuff happens. Of course it does. No, no stuff. Why wouldn't stuff like happen? anybody else uh, heard that trap go off. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Copy all. And paste.
And then give me a marching order and roll oh. initiative. I'm marching like order is always behind another. the bear. Mm -hmm. yeah. Behind the bear. Yep. Yep. Me too. I'll Men talk. Bear. Behind the bear. <laughs> yep. Behind the bear at initiative plus one. Okay. I'll roll for Mentok. Hey, look at me with my plus one. I did decent. <laughs> and then the Islanti murder bots. Wait, what? I don't like the sound of that. Mm -hmm. Did the you say murder bots? They, yeah. that see the that just sounds like target practice with extra steps. No, that that sounds like men talks useless now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something about mindless creatures. Yeah, men talk does not like that <laughs> at all. They always fling a monkey at them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what? We have monkeys. You do not have monkeys. Yeah. You were doing only to do the monkeys later in the evening. Oh, well. No monkeys, men talk. Well, remind me and I will bring a bag so I can load up on monkey ammo. <laughs> oh my gosh. The <laughs> bag of monkeys. All right. <laughs> John, I I I, I got to ask. Do do, do, do you, you listen, listen to yourself, yourself when, when you, you say, say things, things like, like that, that or or... <laughs> and I regret nothing. I all right. Creed's up first. Uh, uh, the Atlante is two is two big green robots come out of the fog down at you. Those, Those look, look cool. That they is do. awesome. And uh, and also I I think you killed the turn order. Yeah, I don't see it anymore. Well, oopsie. Do you see the turn order? Yes. yes. I hit the no, wrong button. Uh, let me uh, adjust the <laughs> the position on the turn order for the for the stream and the recording. There we go. Um, so we got bot one, bot two, huh? Yep. Um, Creed is up first. Ooh, that's an idea. Hold on. Boom. Listen. Boom. John is now standing up, his back full of dead monkeys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there, there we go. Uh, and we are going to slash bot to right in its dumb little robot face. <laughs> And th and that does five points of bear bear claw slashing damage. Yep. Oh Zane, that's <sighs> that's mean. But two. Right. Out there. Nope. Uh oh, indeed. Over his back. And launches a grenade at Creed. What? Uh, well, that's, that's not very nice. Yeah, make a reflex save. <clears throat> that's a new thing. Uh, you said reflex save? It's not. Yep. It's not great at level one. Uh, uh, that that is a se seventeen. You are not entangled by the sticky bomb grenade. That's not terrible at level one. Seventeen, that ain't bad. Yeah, yeah. right. A uh, Rakiel. Uh, all right. Um, since it's flying up in the air, I'm assuming it's not going to get cover from Creed. No. All right. So. So Rakiel will move up a little bit and take a shot. Um, at bot two. Photon mode one. Heck yeah! Critical. 
For max damage. Yeah. A, a max damage critical. And now, does the croid happen immediately or on its turn? On its turn. It's like fire. Okay. And Conti. Alright, Bishop, are you fine going after bot one? If I harry that one? Sure. Let me make sure I can see. Well, actually, no, I can hear it. Never mind. It doesn't, it's not vibration. I can hear it. So are they flying just so I know? Yeah, they're flying with hover motors so you can hear the motors. Yep. Okay, perfect. And yes, I can hear that one. So I'm going to move and shoot. Pew, pew. I will miss. Sorry, Bishop. I tried. Okay, Bishop. <clears throat> well, if there's no bonus, then I might as well go two. Finish it off. Hey, Kelly, just out of curiosity, uh, what size categories are these bots? Small. Beautiful. <laughs> Th thank you. Why couldn't they be tiny? <laughs> okay, CR1, yes. So, five damage to bot one? Or bot two? Two. Two. Bot two kind of melts into slag. Bot one? What's it going to do? Hover, 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 hover. Okay, everybody but men talk. Give me a reflex save. Yeah. <laughs> right, right up. Uh, yeah, I thought something like that was. Yep, you all gotten grenade formation there. That's an, a, that's an eight. That's an 18 for Creed. Did anyone get less than a 10? I see a 5 from Conti. Okay, Conti, you're entangled for 6 rounds. Oh. Oh, goody. Hey, do you have that, uh, do you have, like, a conditions? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, I can import it if you want. Uh, no, you just have to look it up on the SRD. Okay. That was but one's turn. Now Mentok. <clears throat> oh, how far away are they from me? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Well, I guess we are going to telekinetic projectile with a plus one. Okay. Somebody value value still rolling that for him. Uh, yeah, and right now, no. Can you do it, please? Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting uh I'm getting the conditions. Oh. Uh, seventeen will hit. And a D six damage. Yes, sir. Bulk for two. Hey, I'm useful. And Creed. We lose Jacob? Uh Hope not. Nope. I, I'm, I'm here. Uh, uh, let's, let's see here, sir. So, uh, we, we got bot one directly behind me, and bot two smashed. Uh, oh, let's see here. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just gonna smash. This reconnection successful. Uh, that's five slashing damage on bot one. Okay, got it. Bot two is out. A Rakiel. All right. Second verse, same as the first. We'll move, photon mode 2, and toss some flame. 
13. I hope it has really low EAC. No, it has moderate EAC. Ah. Yep, you miss. Conti. All right, I will. I can, yeah, I can fire at that. Get herring fire. No one has taken any stamina damage. Oh, Arachiel, you have? I did from the trap. Oh, okay. Very good. Yeah, I just was looking at everybody's stamina. Okay, then I'll just carry bot one. Okay, I'll hit this one. This up. Oh my god, I gave my life. That's why I'm an envoy. Okay, I miss. Yep, Bishop, you're up. <laughs> All envoys hate their lives. <laughs> All right, it's right where I want it. Hello, envoy. Attack. Oh, that was a CR 12, yes, and EAC 16, yes. Three damage. There we go. About one. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to hover away. And Arachio, you're getting shot with a pulse caster pistol. Okay. Oh. It's just like the hop cars. Yep, 19 EAC. Oh. Yep, that'll hit. Oh, that'll be some <laughs> in the back. <laughs> mm -hmm. Takes two non lethal electrical. All right. The envoy is celebrating getting hit. Someone getting hit. <laughs> right. Mintock. Uh, if I'm close enough, I'll do the same thing. Yep. Uh, you want to roll it this time, Val? Sure. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to... Six, right? Yeah, uh, D20 plus one and a D6. This works. Yep, the 18 hits and four damage. Creed. All right. Uh, and 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 these things are are like hovering, right? Yeah. All right. Well, that that's fine. Uh, fire five foot smash. I'm I'm. You know what? Gonna use. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm going to re-roll that, because why not? We have them to spare right now. Okay. There we Much go. Better. Yep, and now roll damage. Womp womp. Still enough to shred it. Alright. I'm coming back. Sorry, I think I dropped. Uh, yep. And as you... Defeat the bots, you hear a little bell ding, and you are now level two. Yay! Yay. Fantastic. Can I, can I heal Arachio real quick? Yeah. Uh, we're, uh, while we, uh, we, he, uh, he, he, heal up and make the uh, appropriate adjustments to our uh uh our ma our macros and things like that might i suggest a quick uh commercial break yeah why don't yeah. we take a 15 minute break during which you can level up and otherwise exercise stretch etc can i ask if yep is there was there uh anything on the uh, hover drones that we could salvage. Uh, no. Their weapons. No. The, wait, they both fired their sticky bombs, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, they both fired here, then no. Here's a f here's a fun question. Can can we turn the hover bots into UPBs? 
There are no rules for it, so I'm going to say no. Oh, you can... Oh, hold on. Gear... Yeah, you can loot their integrated pulse caster pistols to each and two and four batteries total. Oh, yeah. hey, we we'll, uh, we need we need those batteries. Yep. All right, uh, Gert, let's let, let's uh sw switch back to switch to commercial break and we'll pick back up at the start of the hour. Yeah. Uh, how about five after? Five after. All right. That'll work. 